Hi, and welcome to Analytical English. I'm Angela, and I'm Wesley. Today we're on page forty-three of the magazine, and is and it is November fourteenth. Today's article is entitled "Almost Too Pretty to Eat," which is to say, it's super pretty, but we're still going to eat it. Hmm. 好，所以英文标题的意思是几乎美到我们舍不得吃啊。那意思是最后我们还是会吃啊，但是它非常漂亮。那我们中文标题呢是艺术品等级，美艳精致的镜面蛋糕。嗯、mm. 嗯、mm. ，So let's straight up, straight up read the article. <笑> no messing around. Just get right to the point. 嗯、mm. <笑>，直接读啦。嗯、mm.。Food trends come and go, especially on Instagram. Beautiful food is a common feature on social media, but one dessert seems to be here to stay: mirror cakes. Mirror cakes are high-class cakes that have been decorated with shiny, multicolored icing. The patterns can make them look like marble, outer space, or just several layers of beautiful colors. Made from top quality ingredients with unique flavor combinations in the fillings, the cakes are really known for their icing. Though mirror cakes have been around for a while, their recent popularity can be tracked to a Russian baker named Olga Noskova. At first, she started by making French macarons, and she soon progressed to the very beautiful cakes that made her a viral internet sensation. Noskova started baking cakes because she wanted to have something beautiful and delicious to enjoy. But baking amazing cakes quickly became her full-time job. Instagram and YouTube fame has earned Noskova hundreds of thousands of followers and millions of views of her photos and videos of cakes. She is able to charge clients ridiculously high prices for her cakes, which can be worth up to eighty U.S. dollars per kilogram. Her popularity has grown to the point that Noskova's talents are in demand around the world, and she is expanding her pastry business into new locations, including Dubai. She also teaches courses around the world to the next generation of pastry chefs. Well, that is a really good example of using, um, using social media to expand your brand and go big time. Hmm. So this is a very good example of how to use social media to expand your brand. 建立自己的名声，然后到最后名利双收。I would really like to have a more detailed story, though, of exactly like what happened next and next and next, so you can get an understanding of how it might work for you if you if it、mm. could, you know? Yeah. Like stories like this are great, but it's too short to really understand how it worked. I kind of want the play by play. Uh、mm-hmm. huh. Yeah. Ah, I think there are many people who are curious about how it was done, how it was achieved. So maybe this is the real. 也许真正的 details 他不会跟你讲啊， yeah. 这个成功的人他就不会跟你讲那个真正的 detail。Because those details、yeah. are often not very glamorous。Yeah， 啊，因为这个呃，这些 detail 很多时候不是那么的光彩啊 ，glamorous， 这里可以翻译成为光彩，不是那么的光彩。Yeah. Or not necessarily even very flattering to the person involved either <笑>。Yeah， 那这个是个 understatement 哈 ，not very flattering， 就是感觉起来对他不是很夸赞，其实就是。不怎么光彩的意思。They're not going to talk about that time that they groveled at three in the morning to somebody to give them a thing that they needed to save the day. Yeah, 他们不太可能跟你说他们半夜三点怎么样去去去烦一个人闹一个人哈，或者是哀求一个人啊，要求说他能够帮他们怎样怎样的啊。嗯嗯嗯。But anyways, um, the first sentence of our story says, "Food trends come and go." Especially on Instagram, and this is a truism. A truism is something that you can say that everyone just nods their heads along with. It's not saying something that we don't know. We all know this thing, but it's fine to start your story with a truism because you're, um, you're establishing, um, you're establishing a concept. The first st- sentence in your article or in your story or in your anything is always right there. You're establishing the mood. And the concept.、Mm-hmm. That's why a lot of writers consider the first sentence to be so important. Yeah. But honestly, all you have to do is be like, "This is what I'm going to talk about, and here's the feeling I'm trying to achieve." Mm-hmm. Yeah. 或者是这个 the first sentence can establish a common ground. Yes. Yeah. That's a good way of saying the, the, the it. Between the writer and the reader. Yes. Yeah. We all agree this. Yeah.、Mm. yeah well, that's what that's、mm-hmm. what using a truism for your first sentence works、mm-hmm. as very well. Yeah. 好，所以这个很多文章第一句呢，他会写出像我们这篇文章里面这样的这种所谓的 truism 啊，就 T R U I S M 啊 
truism， 就是大家都同意的事情，没有人会跟你说不对不对，我反对啊。就是大家都同意的事情，所以文章一开始呢，用一个大家都同意的事情呢，你可以设定你这个文章的基调，好，同时呢，也可以拉近你跟读者的距离，因为你这样讲，读者不可能跟你说、啊、不对不对啊，他读者可能看了之后，他也只有点头的份啊，那点头第一句点点头，后面可能继续点头，除非你写的太夸张的东西。那所以我们看到这第一句，他说 food trends 就是食物的流行啊 ，trend 就是趋势啊，或者是流行。Come and go， 哈，这个片也蛮好玩的，就这个就是中文讲的来来去去，好，所以食物的这种这个流行呢，来来去去，哈，这个什么时候封什么封一阵之后呢，可能就封别的了，好，那他说食物的这个 trends 怎么样是来来去去的，尤其是在 Instagram 上面。Um, and the reason why Instagram is relevant here is that beautiful food is a common feature on social media, especially Instagram. Instagram is all about The beautiful things in life,、mm. right? That's basically、mm. what the the brand is about. So beautiful clothes, beautiful experiences, beautiful food,、mm. and since food has to look beautiful to be photographable,、mm. you know, there's been the sort of disconnect between food looking like a certain thing and what it actually tastes like. So、oh. you know, there's there's this trend for a while of like fancy,、um, super fancy shakes.、Mm-hmm. I forget the word for it. But shakes that have got like so much stuff piled on top of it. There's like three or four desserts on top of a milkshake, and it's like、mm. it looks really beautiful. But you would have a serious stomachache to eat the whole thing afterwards. I think. Ah,、oh, so this、这个 uh, Instagram 上面呢，它其实啊， uh, 你去看 Instagram， 它最大的卖点就是美。它贩卖的就是就或者是分享的就是美的事物、美的食物啊，包括美丽的经验啊、美丽的人等等的啊。那那甚至，例如说，有一段时间的这个食物上面来这样 ，Instagram 上面有一段时间非常流行的就是各种各样的奶昔啊，非常漂亮的奶昔，它上面加了很多很多的东西，非常非常的漂亮啊，所以也难怪这里讲到说这个 beautiful food 美丽的食物呢，这个美丽的食物啊，这里不适合翻成美食啊，因为我们中文讲的美食，除了好看之外，主要还是好吃啊，所以这里主要看的是，主要说的是 beautiful， 它是很漂亮的。很美丽的食物呢，是个 common feature， 一个很普遍的一个特色，或者是主打的东西啊，在这个呃 social media 上面。嗯、mm, ，But one dessert seems to be here to stay. So now our author is is、um, breaking his own premise because he started off by saying food trends come and go, but then he's saying that this trend seems to be here to stay. So this one is not going to go that quickly, and that trend is. Mirror cakes. I don't know. I kind of think that mirror cakes will go just as quickly as any other trend. Ah, <笑>、啊、那他这个地方，我们作者第一句才讲说啊，这个是这个 food trends 啊 ，come and go。但是他现在这里呢，马上推翻了他刚刚的讲法。他说，但是有一种这个点心呢 ，dessert 看起来似乎是 be here to stay 啊啊。我们 if we say something is here to stay 啊，意思就是他不大概看来。短期之内不会退流行，或者是甚至于它不会退流行的，它就不会随着其他的一些这个呃退去流行的事物离开我们，不会，它就在这儿。好，那这里呢，他讲的我们要谈的是什么呢？用一个冒号啊，他说呃 ，one dessert seems to be here to stay， 然后呢，一个冒号就我们就知道说他要告诉我们这个是什么呢 ？What is what that dessert is？ 那它是 mirror cakes 啊，这镜面蛋糕。那顺便这里谈一下，就是有人会说，哎，他前面不是在跟我们讲那个 truism， 那他干嘛自己打破呢？其实这个是让你这个 arouse the reader's curiosity 啊，因为读读者刚才同意说，对啊，对啊，这个 food trends come and go， 哎，可是作者说，哎，但是有一个不会哦，有一个不是哦，那读者可能就很好奇，哦，真的吗？有吗？那我们来看看是哪一个。嗯 ，Yeah。So second paragraph, what are mirror cakes? They are high class cakes. These ain't low class cakes with bad grammar. They're high class cakes. <laughs> They speak perfectly, and they have been <laughs> decorated with shiny, multicolored icing. So most cake icing is a white color and it's opaque,、mm-hmm. meaning it's solid. You can't see through it. Whereas、yeah. mirror cakes have this shiny icing, and it's flat and like it's like like the top of a still lake. It's so pretty. 嗯啊，那刚刚这个 Angel 老师用到一个字 opaque， 好 ，O P A Q U E 哈 ，opaque，O P A Q U E， 它就是不透明的意思啊，所以大部分的这个 icing 都是白色的糖霜嘛，哈，你没有办法不是透明的啊，但但是呢，这个 mirror cakes 里面有时候它那个那个它的糖霜可能看啊，有时候我们可以可以 see through 啊，当然 not always 啊。
那这里讲到说，这个 m i r r o r cakes are high class cakes， 他们是高等的、高级的这个蛋糕啊。那 that have been decorated， 他们被装饰，用什么装饰呢？用 shiny， 就是闪亮的。好 ，multicolored 就是多彩的 icing 啊，来做装饰。The patterns on the cake can make them look like marble, like outer space, or just several layers of beautiful colors. Just Google mirror cakes, and you'll see lots of pretty. Hmm. 啊，所以你如果有兴趣的话，去你 Google 一下哈、啊，这个 Mirror Cakes 你会看到好多好多的照片啊。所以他说呢，这个呃，他说这些 patterns 啊，它的这花样呢或者图案哈、啊，可以 make them look like 让这个呃镜面蛋糕看起来好像是 marble 像大理石一样哈、啊，或者是看起来像 outer space 啊那个外太空啊，或者 just 或者看起来就没什么简。其实不是没什么，就是看起来就是什么呀 ？Several layers of 就是好几层的 beautiful colors， 漂亮的、美丽的颜色。But the main thing is that it's shiny and flat.、啊、那重要的、最重要就是它们是亮亮的啊，然后平平的，嗯、mm. ，平滑，通常是平滑、光滑。So made from top quality ingredients with unique flavor combinations in the fillings, the cakes are really known for their icing. So, besides the fact that they have the icing, they're usually made from quality ingredients. So that means it's not going to be like it's going to taste good, basically,、mm -hmm. and also unique flavor combinations. So it's not going to be like vanilla or buttercream or whatever. It's going to be like、uh, you know raspberry meringue with shades of vanilla or something like that. Ooh, that would be good, actually. <laughs> or, <laughs> or you know, like rhubarb strawberry with a hint of cinnamon or something like that.、Mm, ah, oh no, man! Yeah. But see, even though they has the like lots of top quality cakes have these kinds of things, but the cakes are really known for what they're known for. The reason they're called mirror cakes is because of how they're iced. Uh huh. Ah, so made from. They have what kind of thing made from? Top quality, 就是顶级品质啊，顶级品质的这种 ingredients 啊，原料。With 啊，同时搭配上什么呢 ？Unique 啊，这些原料是有啊，也不是搭配啊，就有这些原料有什么样 ？Unique 有很独特、独一无二的 flavor combinations， 就是风味的组合啊。所以就换句话说，它的这个食材都是顶级的食材，然后它风味的组合是非常的独一无二哈、啊。Unique 那这些东西呢，用在哪里呢 ？In the fillings 啊 ，fillings 就是它的馅料啊，所以它馅料。用的食材都非常的棒啊！那 fillings 呃也可以像我们包子里面那个也可以叫做 fillings 哈、啊，就是不塞在食物里面的东西都可以叫做 fillings， right？ Usual, yeah， yeah，、mm -hmm. but a cake、yeah. filling isn't necessarily in the middle of a round thing. A cake filling would just be could just be a layer because、uh, everything's wrapped by the icing in the end, so it is still technically inside. 啊、uh, ，那但是 cake fillings 啊，就是蛋糕的 fillings 不一定是包在里面的。它可能是一层一层的啊，那这样就是那那个也也是叫做 fillings， 对啊，好，所以呢，他说这个蛋糕呢是由这些顶级的原料做成的，然后，但他们真正的有名的或者大家真正觉得很棒的是他们的这个 icing， 他们的这个糖霜。So like a lot of food trends, mirror cakes have been around for a while. Like a lot of things that become popular have actually, they're not brand new invented on the spot. It's some other reason that brought them into the spotlight.、Mm. So in this case, their recent popularity can be tracked, can be、um, followed to a Russian baker named Olga Noskova. Hmm. 啊，虽然这个金面蛋糕呢 have been around. 啊 ，to have been around 就是他们存在的意思 It's been around for 多少多少时间啊？那在这里呢？ They have been around for a while. 啊，已经存在了一段时间的。换句话说，不是最近才发明的。但是呢，他们的 recent popularity, recent 就是最近的 popularity。他们最近突然之间又受到欢迎了。那这样的一个事实 can be tra attracted back to， 可以追溯到，也就是我们可以去看，哎，怎么搞？最近这个呃，镜面蛋糕已经啊、呃，不是刚刚发明的，它已经存在一段时间了。可是最近为什么突然红起来了呢？好，我们去追溯一下啊 ，tracked。好，最后我们就说啊，原来是因为多半是因为有这么一个呃，这个 Russian 的一个 baker， 一个面包师啊，那名字叫做 Olga Noskova 啊，那原来是因为他，所以金面蛋糕最近又红起来了。嗯、mm. ，So at first she started by making French macarons, which is the previous big food trend. <laughs> 嗯，那一开始呢 ，she started by 啊，就她一开始做的是什么呢？是做这个法国的马卡龙啊，那这个。也曾经很流行一段时间 ，Yeah. 
And、um, she soon progressed, or she moved forward to the very beautiful mirror cakes that made her a viral internet sensation.、Um, so, if something is viral, it means that it spreads like a virus, meaning super quickly and spreading very widely.、Mm. Internet, of course, you know, and a sensation. A sensation is anything that makes everyone go ooh.、Mm. It's something exciting to everybody. Yeah. So, sensation, it usually is singular. Ah, that it is something that. 啊、uh, ，what causes a lot of excitement 啊，或者是 interest 啊，就像刚刚 Angie 老师刚刚那样讲的啊。那我们看到这个地方讲到说呢，他一开始他做的是马卡龙啊，但是呢，他很快的就 progressed 就是进步了啊。这个 progress 在这里是动词，所以重音在后面啊。那如果是名词的话，就是 progress 啊。那他 progressed， 他很快的进步到啊非常美丽的蛋糕。那这些蛋糕呢？他本来是做马卡龙，但他很快就做到了很漂亮的蛋糕。那这个蛋糕呢 ，made her a viral internet sensation， 让他成为一个 viral， 在这里是形容词，爆红的意思，让他成为一个爆红的网络的 sensation 啊，一个热门的这个人啊啊或者是。那 viral 这个字啊，在这里是形容词啊，是爆红的意思，尤其在网络上面爆红。那以前我们的文章里面出现过好几次哈、啊、，go viral 啊、嗯、，go viral on the internet 就在网络上面爆红的意思。Yeah. So Naskova started baking cakes because she wanted to have something beautiful and delicious to enjoy. I guess for herself, but、um, she started making Instagram-worthy cakes. Like Instagram-worthy is an is a、mm. adjective that means you can put it on Instagram and yeah, it will go. Enough. It's、yeah. good enough for Instagram. Hmm. How so? It's Instagram-worthy. Ah, 就是你放到 Instagram 上面，大家会看的哈，而不是说放上去。两两两年的没有人看过哈，那所以 the, reason,、yeah. the way we write it is Instagram dash worthy. 嗯，好，那这个是个复合形容词，所以中间会有一个这个啊连连字号哈，所以 Instagram worthy 哈 ，worthy 就是值得的那个意思哈。And and、yeah. and because she's、mm-hmm. doing Instagram worthy cakes,、yeah. baking amazing cakes quickly became her full time job. 哦，所以呢，她这个啊、呃、开始在网络上爆红之后呢，她就开始怎么样？做一些蛋糕啊，或者这个技术其实又回到他刚刚一开始讲最初的意思。所以他最初做蛋糕 ，started 他一开始做蛋糕呢，是因为他想要有一些漂亮美丽的东西，他喜欢做一些美丽的东西，而且是好吃的东西来 enjoy 来享用啊。但是因为他做了这些很漂亮的 amazing cakes 啊，所以现在呢 ，baking amazing cakes 做这些令人惊艳的蛋糕 ，quickly became 很快的成为他的 full time job。很快成为他全职的工作。好，这 quickly became 是一个很常见的这个 collocation 啊。这个句子你如果写成说啊 ，became her full time job quickly 啊，听起来那味道就差很多了啊，感觉就不太对。所以是 quickly became her full time job， 很快成为他的 full time job。Sounds snappier。啊，比较感觉起来比较这个干脆，比较这个呃比较脆一点啊，比较干脆的意思啊。放在前面的话比较 snappy。S A。Uh, S N A P P Y, ah,、uh, snappy. So Instagram and YouTube fame has earned Naskova hundreds of thousands of followers, which is not easy. <laughs> It's、mm. hard enough just getting six hundred followers and millions of views of her photos and videos of cake. So building up a following like that is actually not easy to do. Hmm. 好，所以呢，他这个呃。Instagram 还有这个 YouTube 上面，他这样在这个这两个东西上面的 fame， 他的名声呢 ，has earned 为他赢得了 hundreds of thousands of followers 啊，这个数以千计的啊这个追随者啊，那同时呢有 millions of views 数百万笔的这个啊观赏的记录啊。观察什么呢 ？Of her photos， 看她的这一些照片啊，当然可能是她或者她蛋糕的照片，还有呢 videos of cake 啊，她所。是做蛋糕的这个影片啊，或者是他做蛋糕的照片。She is able to charge clients ridiculously high prices for her cakes. Um, ridiculously high maybe for our author, but honestly, in the world of fancy cakes, these prices are fairly、mm, normal. Just about right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not buying these cakes, <laughs> and some of these cakes can be worth up to eighty U.S. dollars per kilogram. But honestly, just go look at wedding cake prices in the U.S.、Uh, and you'll be like, "Oh, yeah." <laughs> oh, ah. So, he says, "He, uh, because he's now very famous, so he can now charge his customers what kind of fees? Ridiculously high prices. Ah, is 
高的，有一点让你觉得有点荒谬的价钱啊。那当然，这个是我们作者在这个地方强，应该是用来强调它收费很高。但是呢，其实 Angela 讲说，他收他的这个收费呢，在这个精致高级蛋糕的世界里面呢，其实还可以哈、啊，就不算说高的一塌糊涂或者高的很夸张。啊，他说，呃，各位如果有兴趣的话，去给美国的网站搜寻一下他们的，例如说这个，呃，结婚蛋糕啊，那个可以非收费非常的贵啊。那在这里呢，他的蛋糕可以收费到什么程度呢？大概 up to 就是可以高达啊，他的蛋糕的价值可以高达每公斤八十美元。You're not paying for the cake. You're paying for the frosting. <laughs> Essentially, yeah. Ah, so actually, you buy that cake, not to buy that cake. You buy that frosting, ah, or that icing. Hmm. So her popularity has grown to the point that to up to the point that Noskova's talents are in demand around the world. So she's become world famous, which is why we're hearing about her in Ivy Magazine here.、Mm -hmm. And so that's the kind of level of fame where you can do stuff like. Expand your pastry business into new locations, including Dubai. Oh, so Dubai 听起来就是很贵的地方啊，算是 sounds like a very expensive place. It is a very expensive place. <laughs> okay, you want to spend a lot of money? Go to Dubai. Oh, okay. So shall we go tomorrow? I would like to earn a lot of money、First. before I spend <laughs> so much money. Okay, but if you're willing to pay for it, I hear that you got you know pretty deep pockets. Okay, oh,、uh, let's call Bruce. <laughs> oh, he's the truly deep-pocketed man. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Or you're just too cheap to take me on vacation? Well, both. Ah, so in this place, we talk about his 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 popularity, his popularity, his popularity has grown to the fact to the point that it's reached a certain point. This point is actually the level of the Chinese level. Ah, it's reached a certain point. That level means that his talents, his creation of this cake, are in demand. That means that his talents, his creation of this cake, are in demand. That means that his talents, his creation of this cake, are in demand. That means that his talents, his creation of this cake, are in demand. That means that his talents, his creation of this cake, are in demand. That means that his talents, his creation of this cake, are in demand. That means that his talents, his creation of this cake, are in demand. 然后呢？因为这样子，所以 she is expanding 啊、uh, ，expanding 就是扩展她的 pastry business， 她的烘焙的这个呃生意事业啦啊，生意听听起来好像很很很市侩啊。她的这个烘焙事业，她正在扩展到 new locations 啊，一些新的地点。那各位看到这个 location 是加 s 的，好、啊，所以它不止在一个地方扩点，它可能在很多地方扩点啊，说明哪一天还会来到台北也不一定啊。那 including 包括它扩展的地方，包括杜拜。那我刚刚跟 Angel 是开玩笑啊，事实上不也不是开玩笑，杜拜真的是一个高消费的地方。Yeah. Now she, meaning Noskova, is she also teaches courses around the world, and she teaches them to the next generation of pastry chefs. So this is smart on her part. She's not just making cakes and following the trends. She is also teaching people. She's diversifying her income, which is that's an intelligent thing to do.、Mm. Also, that's good news for anybody. Of you who are inter interested in being a pastry chef, you could go and take one of her courses and learn how to do this stuff for yourself. Hmm. Ah, that he 同时呢也教课啊 around the world 啊在全世界四处教课教给谁呢 The next generation 啊下一代的啊这个 pastry chefs 啊这些这个制作蛋糕的这些主大师主厨们啊所以他换句话说他也不是不藏私啊他也到处去教人家怎么样做出漂亮的金面蛋糕。The interesting thing about the internet these days, though, is you can pretty much learn anything. Oh yeah. Through there's tutorial videos for just about anything you could imagine wanting to learn. So if you want to learn how to make a mirror cake or any kind of cake,、mm -hmm. just Google. Yeah. Whatever kind of cake, and then add the word tutorial, T U T O R I A L,、mm -hmm. and、um, you'll find. Of course, if you Google in English like this, you'll find the English language of it. But、mm -hmm. I've noticed that. Different languages have、mm -hmm. different kinds of tutorials.、Ooh. So you want to Google Chinese food?、Mm -hmm. Better Google it in Chinese because、yeah. you're not going to get much in the English language network. But、yeah. things like mirror cakes, you might find actually a bunch in the Chinese language. Yeah.、Um, yeah. Internet, you never know. But、mm -hmm. it's sometimes worth Googling in more than one language to get the information. Hmm. Ah, so now, on the internet, almost everything is being taught. So, if you want to learn something, you can just Google it. Then, on the back, add a tutorial. 那他就会找出啊这些教学的网站。那当然大部分都是英文的啦，哈，但是你也可以试着用中文去去找找看啊，因为有有很有趣的是，有的时候不同的语言网站，他教你的方法或教的东西或教的过程可能会有不同啊，所以多去逛逛，用不同的语言多搜寻搜寻啊，可以长知识啊。嗯 ，We have some questions here for you. What makes mirror cakes unique? 是什么东西让金面蛋糕与众不同呢？ 
The answer is D. They have very shiny and colorful frosting. They have very shiny and colorful frosting. They have very shiny and colorful frosting. Number two, where is Olga Naskova from? Ah, that this person, he is from where? Ah, 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 from where? Ah And number three, which of the following is not true about Naskova's success? 关于他的成功，下列哪一项不正确呢 ？The answer is A. It's not true that she's only popular in her home country. She's popular around the world. 答案是 A. 哈，因为 A 说她只在她的祖国受欢迎，不对，她是全在全球都受到欢迎，所以这个是正确答案。And number four, how is Naskova planning to expand her baking company? The answer is B. She will establish businesses in new countries. 答案是 B. 好，她会在新的国家建立事业的这个据点。Well, that's all we have for you today, and I'm off to go find out how to make mirror cake. <laughs> See you again tomorrow or next time for more analytical English. Until then, bye bye. bye.